Hello, welcome back to my channel. It is Color Me Badly and back on to share an absolutely gorgeous fragrance that I am afraid to spray out. If you are a fragrance lover and you have certain fragrances in your collection that you never touch because you just don't want to run out of it, I've got one I want to come on and share with you today. Before we get into that, I want to welcome you back to my channel. If this is your first time ever meeting me, welcome. I am Color Me Bad Lynn. Um, I am a beauty professional. We talk about all things beauty. We talk about the fragrances that are in my collection. Of course, those that are on my wish list. I keep talking about that wish list. It's a serious one. Uh, we also will talk about the fragrances that are sent to me in samples and complimentary fragrances. I get some of those. Uh, and we'll also talk about natural skincare. We'll talk about a little bit about makeup. Uh, we will talk about hair, natural hair. Uh, we will talk about wigs, weaves, you name it. We will also talk about uh, romance. We'll talk about love, dating, relationships. We'll talk about family issues. We'll have a little church chat here and there. And we will talk about faith, most importantly. If I've forgotten anything, we'll talk about that too. So again, welcome back to my channel. So let's get into it. I have several fragrances in my collection that I just don't touch. I don't know if you have the same thing going on in your fragrance collection, but I thought I'd come on and share because I looked at this box the other day and I go, so you had this fragrance, you absolutely love this fragrance. Well, but let's blame it on the pandemic. Maybe it's because I haven't been as, on as many excursions uh, lately uh, and maybe that's the reason. So that's what we'll blame it on. But the fragrance that I wanted to come on and share with you guys that I very seldom use. I don't think I've ever actually worn this out of the house. But I absolutely adore this fragrance. It is Tiffany & Co. Intense. And I will bring the box in a little bit closer so you can see it. I do keep her inside of the box. I'll go ahead and take it. Take her. Take the lid off for you. And then I'll turn it around so you can kind of see. Because you can actually display this on your display case or your vanity or your dresser or however you display your fragrances. You can just leave it inside of the box if you like. I just keep her covered up because I don't use her that often. Um, this is the actual bottle here. Absolutely love it. You can actually see the neck of the bottle there which has got the Tiffany & Co emblem on there. Nothing spectacular, nothing super, super fancy about the bottle, but I just absolutely love this fragrance. Now, I've shared this on another review that I probably deleted uh, when I first started my channel. Uh, the only drawback about this is my cap. My cap is kind of weird acting, um, but other than that, absolutely gorgeous. I'm going to spray a little bit on so I can kind of catch the vibe for this because like I said, I don't wear this fragrance. Don't, we don't want to miss that spot. <laughs> So let's get into the actual notes of this fragrance. Uh, and if you don't have this fragrance in your collection, it may be something that you want to go ahead and add. Again, this fragrance is Tiffany & Co. Intense. Tiffany for women. Of course, anyone who wants to wear this fragrance absolutely can. Um, no discrimination there because I have several fragrances in my collection that are men fragrances that I adore. Um, your main, of course, of this fragrance, it is powdery. Um, it is musky, it is iris, it's amber, it's woody, it's vanilla, it's soft, spicy, it's really spicy. It's a really soft, spicy fragrance. Like you can smell and taste the pepper when you spray this out. It is violet, it's really earthy, and it's sweet. I would say semi-sweet. Um, this is not for everybody. I do want to share that. If you're not a lover of a grounded fragrance, this is probably something that you wouldn't particularly care for. I think the reason that I love this fragrance so much is because it has rose, it has jasmine, and it has amber in it. But let's get into the actual notes of this fragrance or what they were thinking um, when they created Tiffany & Co. Intense by Tiffany. It is an amber floral fragrance. So if you don't like amber and you don't like your florals, this would be something um, that you probably wouldn't like. You may want to get your nose on this first. This is a new fragrance. Um, of course, they haven't updated the information since they re they launched this fragrance. Tiffany & Co. Intense was launched in 2018, so it's been around for a minute. The nose behind this fragrance is Daniela Roche-Andre. 
Your top notes of this fragrance is pear, mandarin leaf, and pink pepper. Now I'm gonna tell you right off the bat, the first thing I get is the pink pepper. It is wafting in the air. It is extremely heavily noted with the pink pepper. And I think what kind of softens it up and gives it a little bit of sweetness is the resins from the mandarin leaf. Uh, which is the leaf of course from a mandarin orange and then you've got your pear so that's going to give you a little a little bit of juiciness in the beginning but extremely extremely spicy you can definitely catch that so if you're a person who doesn't particularly care for soft spicy or you don't like a pink pepper note in your fragrance you may want to stay away from this fragrance but if you like pink pepper you may want to go ahead and add this to your collection. Your middle notes of this fragrance, or what I love to call your heart notes, um, would be rose and jasmine. So that is after the fragrance kind of starts to dry a little bit. Then you'll start to get that rose that kicks in, the rose and the jasmine. But I'm telling you, that pink pepper is extremely overpowering. So again, if you're not a lover of pink pepper of soft spicy you are not gonna like this but this is definitely for someone who loves a beast mode soft sensual fragrance your base notes of this fragrance and this is what you're going to get after your fragrance dries down um, keep in mind that uh, all fragrances dry down on everybody totally totally different okay and so with that some of the notes that are mentioned that this fragrance is made up of, um, you may not smell. You may not get it. Like, I don't get anything out of my first spray except for the pink pepper. And then I start to get a little bit of the rose and the jasmine. Um, and then your base note, again, is once it dries all the way down, you're going to get a musk note in there, which is heavily musk musky. Um, you're going to get your cashmere in. You're going to get benzoin, vanilla. You're going to get carrots. And amber okay and so that's what you get in your dry down of this fragrance you may only get one or two of those notes in your base note um, you may get some notes um, in this fragrance that pop out for you that aren't even listed um, in this particular fragrance because they don't always notate and give us all of the juicy goods on um, what all is in this what I find peculiar about this fragrance as it dries down is that it becomes something totally totally gorgeous um, and that's what I appreciate about this the first spray out on it is not a love at first sniff um, it has to wear on you um, like I stated that pink pepper is heavy at the beginning and it really takes over the whole fragrance so really this is a pink peppers dream if you like pink pepper you will absolutely love this fragrance along with your florals um, then you've got several different florals in there um, that kind of give it its femininity that we always look for in a fragrance ladies and that's your iris again your rose and your jasmine and remember what I told you about jasmine anything that has jasmine in it normally keeps you wanting more and more of it now I do want to let you know that with this particular fragrance that jasmine note um, doesn't um, pick up until you've had that fragrance maybe on I would say maybe about an hour you'll start to get a little bit of the jasmine that's what pops up for me you may get the jasmine right away you may get the jasmine after your fragrance dries down and you've had it on for hours and hours at a time and you may not get the jasmine at all the the funniest note of this fragrance is what I'm really really interested in and that is carrot your vegetable that is actually in this fragrance and I'm willing to bet that that is what allows this fragrance to last so long if you spray this on your clothing. Um, that's what I'm thinking. Um, but again, this is absolutely gorgeous. Um, this is one of those fragrances that I just never wear. I'm just scared to spray it out. I don't want to use it all up. There are several other flankers of this particular fragrance, the Tiffany & Co. This is the Intense. Um, for me, I normally go for Intense fragrances that are Eau de Parfums if I'm going to spend a little bit more for my fragrances. Because normally for me, the Intense versions of fragrances normally have, um, they're a lot more powerful. They're supposed to last a little bit longer. Now, that's not always the case in every single fragrance, but that's always my intention um, when purchasing the intense version of fragrances. 
So again, this is Tiffany and Co. Tiffany Intense. If you're looking for a beautiful uh, floral fragrance that is heavily ambered and heavily pink peppered, I highly recommend you get your nose on this fragrance. It is absolutely gorgeous. This is beautiful. This is not that fragrance that you wear. You can wear it wherever you want to. Who are, who are me to judge? But I will wear this for maybe a special event. Um, a day night. Uh, I probably wouldn't wear this to work, but you could. Um, but that pink pepper note is real sensual and it's kind of, it's on the kinky side. So this is something that I would really wear with my significant other. Um, you know, and that's probably why I haven't worn this because I don't go very many places these days. But I wanted to come on and share this fragrance because it's time for me to start spraying this fragrance out. They've got two more versions that will come out since this one has come out. And it's time to get this one worked out a little bit so you know what i always say when i find a fragrance that is absolutely gorgeous so i have one that's just sitting in my collection see that's better i have one in my collection that's just sitting and collecting dust that i absolutely adore get you some i highly recommend adding tiffany tiffany and co intense to your collection if you're looking for a beautiful amber floral fragrance that is heavy on the pink pepper get you some this is color me bad Lynn saying thank you for watching i greatly appreciate all of the love and support just wanted to pop on and share that fragrance you know some of us have fragrances in our collection we just never go to we never touch we never think about and when we do think about spraying it, we go eh, and find something else but it's time to start spraying it out and it smells absolutely amazing the, like i said that pink pepper um, I got I get a little bit of that pear, that juiciness of the pear. Uh, it is just wafting in the air. Beautiful, beautiful sundress, uh, weather fragrance, absolutely gorgeous. This is Color Me Bad Land saying bye for now. God bless you guys. Peace.